What is up guys, I was CI here, bring you another gameplay commentary on another topic, life related, a little bit fun this one though, it's how to spice up a party. Now, the obvious answer would be kilos of heroin. Now, that isn't always a viable option. And I'll quickly <laughs> introduce the gameplay before I forget. This is COD 4 on the PC. Um, probably going to see some modded COD 4 as in like Galactic Warfare Star Wars mod, but who knows? You know, I live life by the edge. Whatever I render out is whatever I render out. YOLO. Or something, something, something like that, you know. Hipster terms. But yeah, basically this is how to uh, spice up a party. Now, we've all got the invites to parties that we don't really want to go to, but we kind of have to. Now, this is excluding family parties because you can't really spice up a family party that well. It's just, it's your family, you talk to your nan, you chill. You know, it's just a standard family party. You never really want to spice them up. But let's say, let's say it's a Thursday afternoon. And you get invited to a uh, like Friday night party, and you don't really want to go because you want to prestige, and you've got you've got shit to rank up, you've got guns to gold, you know, so you don't really want to go out. Now, you kind of have to, okay? This is your mate's birthday party. This is this is a scenario I'm putting down for you. You get swagged up in your ultimate swag gear because you know, you guys, you subs of the Watty TV, you are swagalicious, so you're looking fresh. And then you go, because you, obviously you don't turn up on your own, you text your mate, you want to meet somewhere, you'll go together, because that's the standard protocol really for a party. So you go there, and it's dead. It's dead as a graveyard. Literally, graveyards have had more interesting things to do. And you're thinking, well, first of all, do not make the tragic mistake of pulling out at 8 o'clock and going to the kebab. No. You want to stick this through, okay? You want to try and maybe mingle. Okay, and this is my first step, mingle. Don't sit on the sofa thinking that people are going to come to you. Mingle. Yeah, if there's a group of girls, say, oh, we'd like a drink. Should I go get you another drink? Be confident, be witty. Don't go up to them and say, hey, bitches, who's first on lineups? Because that will not work. Trust me. It just won't. So be funny, be, be creative, be spontaneous. So yeah, just, you know, spice up party, mingle a little bit, get yourself out of there. Second of all, make sure the music is appropriate. Now, if this douchebag of a friend that you, uh, you know, he's lucky to be friends with you, if he, for some reason, is playing Beethoven's seventh orchestral piece, he needs to turn that shit off and put Knife Party on. And if you don't know what Knife Party is, well, you need, you need to learn pretty damn quick. Put a bit of Knife Party on, okay? Dim down the lights, because, quite frankly, lights shouldn't be on at party, because you don't really want to see who you're dancing with. It's just best for everyone if you don't. Okay, this can work into your advantage. You can get a real stun at dance with you if you just uh, don't make eye contact. <laughs> okay, so you've got the music good. You've got the lights dimmed down. You're mingling now. You turn this party around single-handedly. You may need a little bit of backup from a few bros at some point or another, but yeah, definitely. You're definitely on the right tracks. So now you get into that stage where it's getting to about half ten. Things are going. Okay, but it's not really amazing. So you need to get people drunk. This is the only viable option to make a party amazing. You need to get people drunk. And not in the classic, oh, have a beer, go on, son, let your hair down. Don't, don't go down that route, okay? What you need to do is quickly run out to the kitchen, get a funnel, okay? Some kind of funnel, and then run to the garden and get a pipe. Now, put the funnel in the pipe and duct tape it. This is then called a beer funnel. Now say, who wants to do a beer funnel? People will be like, yeah. Pick a girl to go first or someone like that. Make her, you know, make make sure she's aware of what she's getting herself into. She, then she puts the hose in in her mouth and then you crack open a beer, pour it down the funnel, it will go down and she'll have to just keep drinking, keep drinking. And this is a very, very, extremely, very fun method to get people drunk. And it's just people be like, oh, I'll have a go. So that is... So definitely guys, spice it up a little bit, you know, play some games at a party. Don't feel you just have to mingle all night, although mingling is a good way to get like the vibe set. It's just generally sort of, it's a good way to meet new people as well, parties. It is really good. So try and, if you have got a beer funnel, definitely use one. If not, just do the classic shotgun in beers. Now if you don't want to shotgun in beer is, um, you get a beer can and you don't crack it open, okay? You turn it on its side 
and you get a knife or something and you crack you you cut out a little slot at the bottom only like say as big as 20p something like that and you then put your mouth on that slot you hold the beer up and you crack it open and all the beer will rush down through it it's basically a makeshift beer funnel but again same sort of outcome very hilarious if someone's already quite drunk and the thing is if people are laughing it does make the atmosphere so much better because let me tell you this coming in from a boring ass party you just think I've wasted my night and it, it is shit when a party turns out shit you're just like oh god wow I could have to be fair I could have built a house on Minecraft tonight that's what you're probably thinking now don't you don't want to come away thinking that you want to come away thinking wow that was good you know what was good because I made it good that's what you've got to think guys now this is probably quite a lot to ask of some of you because I bet some of you are probably like well I could never really pull that off but this is where the bromance crew comes involved get a few lads involved a few bros, a few broskies and make sure this happens okay and if you're all gonna and if, especially if it's your party you want to make sure people are going home thinking wow it was a really good time you know they post on your facebook in the morning cheers for a great night lol kiss kiss you want them sort of messages okay that's the messages of approval now to ensure that you've got to, you know you make sure people are mingling make sure the music's good make sure there's a good vibe and people are having fun because quite frankly if you ain't having fun you just you just oh i don't know what you're having but you ain't having fun okay so <laughs> i hope it's been a bit of a fun commentary for you guys it really was just sort of off the ball spontaneous i really am sorry that i didn't post this video yesterday but i was at a university meeting looking at like reading university newcastle university etc and I, I went to TGI's afterwards, saw a film, and just didn't get time to, uh, you know, make this commentary yesterday. So, uh, I'm sorry. I am sorry for that. But it's up today. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's all from me, guys. So, I'll see you later.